loves. So I am making a cheesy chicken and rice crock pot recipe. So this is actually the first time that I'm using a crock pot in general. We've had this crock pot for three years and we've never used it. And things have been getting kind of tight around here with trying to make dinner and having such a busy work schedule with both of us. So I am going to try and make it a little easier on us by having some prep meals. So this is going to be the first one that I try and if it goes well then I'm going to be making some more and hopefully it goes well because I already bought all the ingredients for the others. Um, so this one starts with just a couple basic things but basically the only ingredients that you need are um, four chicken breasts which I've already put in here. It's four chicken breasts. Um, we're going to have two cups of chicken broth and we've got ten and a half ounces of cream of chicken soup. We're gonna have two cups of sharp cheddar cheese and then also 15 ounces of sweet corn. I guess it doesn't have to be sweet, but corn, canned corn, it has to be drained as well. Um, and then we've got a uh, Zatarain's yellow rice. So we are going to be adding the corn and the cheese and the rice tomorrow. So we can set those aside. So we've got the four chicken breasts here and I wrote down the recipe in my handy little cookbook. This is from Ash, my friend Ash, you've seen her on the channel before, um, and this is actually the first time I'm using it. Sorry Ash, but thank you for, for it because it did come in handy two years later. <laughs> so we've already got the chicken in here anyway, guys. And for a second I thought I didn't have a, a can opener, but thankfully I have one. Alright, so let's add in. I think the mini spatula is going to work pretty well for this. Add that in there. And then we want two cups of the chicken broth. I like my colorful cups and I have matching. Matching teaspoon and tablespoon measures in the drawer. I think they're so cute. And the doggies smell the chicken. thing with this is going to be trusting the hubby to remember to do this in the morning. All right guys, so that is it for the first part. Just um, wrap this up. If you're making this right away, then you can go ahead and um, we're going to put this on for, you can do on low for seven to eight hours. I'm probably going to be on the longer side of eight hours just because I am gone for as long as I am during the day. It's probably going to be around eight hours for us. Um, or you can go on high for four hours. So that's up to you guys, whatever works for you, but right now I'm gonna leave this overnight. I'm gonna wrap it up, leave it overnight, and Justin is going to turn it on in the morning and it should be ready by the time I get home. So I will pick this video up at that point. Hey guys, so it is now the next day. Obviously I am dressed in different clothing and everything. So this is going to be the second part of the crock pot. The first part you already saw, um, obviously, because this is still the same video, is um, the prep work for this um, crock pot cheesy chicken and rice. The crock pot has been on for nine hours, uh, about a little over nine hours. Um, so it has gone from low to now it's at keep warm because right now I'm waiting on the rice and the rice takes about 25 minutes to make. So um, if this is something you're expecting to be done right away, I probably wouldn't count on it being ready to go right when you walk through the door. So um, while we're waiting on that, I've already gone in and shredded the chicken. All I used was just two forks to shred it apart. Now since it's been on for, it said seven to eight hours, um, and I was on for nine just because of the timing, that it, that's the way it worked. Um, it shred really, really easily. There was almost nothing to it that I had to do. So I shredded the chicken while I'm waiting for the rice to get done. I have to add the corn, so we'll add the corn now. So the corn needs to be drained as well. So just make sure you're just putting in just the corn by itself, not the juices inside of it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put the corn in. Mm -hmm. 
And we're also gonna put in the cheese. So again, that's two cups of shredded cheese. Now, the recipe said that it could either be cheddar cheese or like a mixed Mexican blend, but I thought that the cheddar would go just fine with this. All right, so let's mix this all together and see how it's coming out. You can also wait to add it all in together, but I figured I'd get some, some of it done as quickly as possible. Ivan's really hungry right now. So um, let's go ahead and wait it out for the rice. We'll add that in and then add in some more cheese. Okay guys, so the rice is done. Go ahead and add that in there. It's very, very hot. instructions it does say mix until the cheese is melted so it worked the way it was supposed to so that was just gonna be extra cheesy <laughs> sorry guys don't follow those instructions and as you can see guys it has filled this entire crock pot our family is just my husband myself and our little one-year-old so this is probably gonna last a couple of meals unless Justin is very very hungry I actually think some bowls are in order for this meal Well, there you guys have it. Uh, we're about to try it, and I'm sure it's delicious. But um, if you would like to, um, Justin actually came up with a good idea with probably making biscuits with these. Um, we might have some bread or something like that, at least for now. Well, it's not for you. Dog thinks it's a fur. It's not. not. Um, so if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for our daily vlogs. I'm also going to be doing some more crock pot recipes as soon as this is finished. Um, so if you guys would like to see more, just let me know. If you guys made this or have made something similar, leave a comment below, let me know about it. See, let me know how it worked for you guys. I'm just, I'm only hesitant because it's very, very hot. That is so good. Oh my god, it's so good. I might have put a pinch too much salt, but I actually don't even think I did. I think it's very, very, very good. I don't even think that's the salt. I think that might be, that might even be the soup. Um, that's amazing. Guys, I highly suggest and recommend this recipe. Uh, below in the description is going to be the recipe in detail, what you need, and the instructions. Um, as well as you can just follow along in the video to know what exactly you need to do. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, again, if you'd like to see more videos, let me know. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye loves!